Well, on this day, 100 years ago, World War I ended. Good evening, I'm Desmond Saunders. This is The Bahamas Tonight, the weekend edition. Well, the Bahamian heroes who fought in World War I between 1914 and 1918 honor today for their sacrifice and courage. Remembrance Day Sunday activities began here in the Capitol with a church service honoring past and present veterans and law enforcement officers. Altavis Munning reports. The 2018 Remembrance Day Church service began with an act of penitence that allowed the congregation to repent of their sins. Then the act of remembrance where those who suffered and died in World War I were remembered for their sacrifice. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore, but they shall all sit under their own vines and under their own fig trees, and no one shall make them afraid. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Remembrance Day sermon focused on peace. Dean and Rector of Christ Church Cathedral, the very Reverend Harry Bain, noted that we have to remember our past in order to provide hope for the future. We are to tell the next generation of the fateful days when the whole nation was called to prayer and how God brought us through the days of peril. Tell of God's faithfulness that generations to come may sing his praise. Reverend Bain paid homage not only to war veterans, but those law enforcement officers who made the ultimate sacrifice for their country in the line of duty. He implored the congregation to commit themselves to become peacemakers of today. Many individuals are in personal turmoil, and instead of looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, they look to drugs, alcohol, money, and yes, technology. We must always pray for peace, that peace which keeps centrally in view the holy love of God. Anything else would never bring lasting results. Prayers of thanksgiving for those who suffer, the nation, and for ourselves were lifted on this Remembrance Day before the congregation participated in the act of commitment. Altavis Munnings, ZNS Network News.